Hello everyone and welcome to my daily DUI tutorial about how you can cut glossy sticker paper with the Cricut Explore Air 2 machine. Now there was a while ago when I really wanted to make stickers on glossy paper but my Cricut Explore Air machine couldn't read the um, sensor marks, the black ones. So after all afternoon I finally found a solution for this problem and I really wanted to show everyone else because I think there are other people struggling with this issue as well. So um, basically the trick is very simple. I just printed my stickers on glossy uh, sticker paper and then I printed the, um, the border of the same sticker sheet on copy paper. So how did I print a uh, sheet that was exactly like the sticker sheet? I will show you guys. First you go to the uh, design space of Cricut.com and um, then you click on make it. I'm not sure everything is in Dutch, um, but I think you will understand. Yes, I see the mat I wanted to print. Let's go further. And then you have the uh, printing page. And um, then you click on send to printer and use system dialog. And uh, press um, print. Now a fenster will open just right behind your browser. Right here. And then you say save as PDF. And I never can change the name, so it says Untitled. I click Save. And if I go to my documents, there will be an Untitled uh, 22, which I will open with Photoshop. I click OK. And then you have this file. So I make a new file, which I will call A4, and you make it just um, 21 by 29.7 centimeters and make sure the resolution is the same as the untitled imported image. So I will select all of this and copy it and go back to my A4 space and say paste. So first I just um, print the st sticker sheet on sticker paper with the normal uh, printing settings in Photoshop. Do not click this button and um, I'm not going to print it actually because I already did. So um, that's the printing part. And then I will just place a um, square um, right over all the images. Like this. Or you can do, use the razor tool or everything. Do I want to transform? Yes. And do I fill this in? Yes. So just make a whole sheet of white paper and send it to your printer and then um, just use a um, hobby razor to um, raise this white square out. So what I'm gonna do is put the copy paper over the um, original sticker sheet. And it's very important, um, you print on um, mm, a bit shining through paper because then you can see if the border is actually right on top of the other border. Because otherwise this method won't work actually. And it's also really important to stick the copy paper 
get a whole bandage of um, what do you call this tape um, at the um, top of the paper and so also a few tapes at the bottom of the paper so I'm gonna check if the line work is all right here too Mostly it also helps when you have like a little lighter or something to um, little light something to see. If your extra framework is just right on the spot. And um, so when you do this, you can grab your mat and put it into your machine so i just taped the um, normal copy paper on the sticker paper and now we are trying to put the sheet in the machine so here we go Okay, and then you just go to the design space and you select cut. And it's starting. And well, it's trying to find the lines. Is it working? Does he? Is he gonna cut? I really hope so. Because nine of out of ten times this method works for me, and most of the time you get pretty accurate results. Mm, that's why I also printed the really small little swords to show you guys um, that this might actually work. Okay, and here we go. As you can see on the video, it's actually becoming pretty accurate. But I would advise you to make a little bit of a bigger um, uh, white line around your images just to be sure you uh, cut them out right. the map and see the actual result of our printing and well as you can see this is the result of our uh, little sticker experiment and as I've told you guys you can see the lines can be slightly bit off just like um, this sticker so again I would recommend to uh, put an extra a uh, thick layer of a white line around your images. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!